Make sure to be a member on the channel, link is in the description. Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have the third video of the day, I know a lot of videos. Uh, thank you my members Overlanding 11B, thank you for being the Fukum member. And thank you all the Foxpet members that we always have, Silami, Astropub, Diaf, Chalar S, uh, Just, Unfield Z. Uh, and all the Fishbed members as well, make sure to subscribe and join our Discord and let's get into it. So today, as you see, we are flying out again the F4D and... Uh, the Skyray, and we are going to do a dogfight. Uh, we tested out with three different Russian aircraft. So at first it is the PFM, as you see, and just to mess around, it's not a actual proper dogfight, you know, because it is just me and my friend messing around with these aircraft to see what it's the capability of the FRD. And we found out a lot of limits that it had, a lot of things that it's good at, and yeah, let's get into it. So, uh, the first aircraft that we are fighting, it is the MiG-21 PFM, which is 9.3, at the same BR as the FRD. So it should be kind of uh, the same type of aircraft that you see. But it has a very bad problem with energy and stuff like that. So, as you see here, completely missed that. And yeah, as you see, I'm going to miss a lot of shots, to be honest here. We are using the infinite ammo, so it reloads after we get killed, you know, and my friend there uh, died. But, so don't mind the ammo getting refilled and stuff like that, we are just messing around a bit. And we are going to have a second part of this video uh, on kind of NATO, not NATO, but more Western aircraft uh, to, uh, tomorrow. So the F-100, the F-86 and the tracking so i kind of picked three types of aircraft so at least in this video we have a more in the same area of br and then we have a tiny bit better which is the mig 19 and then a way better one which is the full up tier of a mig 21 smt to compare a little bit uh, so as you see the pfm can be a very deadly opponent but to be honest, the amount of AOA that this aircraft actually pulls is amazing, especially if you use the flaps and chair in, and slats and flaps. Jeez. Uh, it makes it very, very hard to actually lose the, the nose on the aircraft that you are firing. You're going to realize that a lot on the MiG-19. Uh, MiG uh, and the PFM just don't have, doesn't have a lot of, you know, yeah, and that happens sometimes as well. You have to be careful. It is a very odd aircraft, to be honest, it's, it is very fun and can be very powerful, but it has some weird G limits that it cannot pass 10 Gs, it just breaks itself, and even at last G sometimes I was breaking my aircraft, so yeah, maybe it's a bug, maybe it's just me being kind of a noob in the aircraft, and yeah, it is a very hard aircraft to fly sometimes uh, in dogfights, as you see I'm losing, look at that shot, Jeez, I'm missing a lot of shots, uh, and there is that as well because the the guns are on the middle of the wing, so it is kind of weird why they where they hit sometimes. It's more accurate than you think it would be, you know, being a 20 millimeter. Uh, so it is very, very, a very odd aircraft, just very weird. Uh, but as you see, I kind of dominated this uh, with the PFM. The PFM, it is a very good aircraft, but it has a problem. I mean, it loses. A lot of uh, he was losing a lot of the, the the first turns like that because of the uh, he was not an expert crew that he had on the MiG-21 uh, and I had an expert one but even with that it's kind of lame yeah as you see another break it's just very unforgiving and out of nowhere you know you think you kind of master it and then it breaks you, as you see right now I'm pulling 10 G's and it doesn't do anything then you pull 9 G's and it breaks it. So, I really don't know what is happening. And with the flaps and, and, and f uh, slats that he has, he has a, a flap that is a, a slat basically for combat. It is kind of bugged visually as well on the left wing, but um, yeah, you can use that to maintain the, the high AOAs, you know, to get people. Uh, but as you see, the MiG 19 just has way more energy than, he, than me, you know, I cannot do anything uh, about it, you know. Uh, I will need to actually get the MiG-19 in other types of ways, you know, I'm just out of energy here and try to deviate from it, but yeah, he got me. So yeah, it's an aircraft that is 
you have to wor worry about energy, to be honest, a lot. Because if you are too fast, you compress a lot. So you need to be at 850, 900 to actually have a good turn rate. Uh, but then you can actually break as well. So it is a very problematic thing. And as you see here, I'm trying to just get him, but I cannot. It's just no way that I can get him. It is very, very hard to maintain energy like the MiG-19. And he's playing correctly like this. He's just trying to uh, get me to stall. Uh, and it is a funny thing that the aircraft does, doesn't stall. You know, it just continues to do its thing. And, and yeah, even here I'm damaged, for example, and he missed me. And I almost got him there. And then he's going to go upwards again because of the energy. And now I kind of have the same energy as him. But still I'm just missing a lot of shots and I don't have the missiles. And it's just... Look at this. Come on. Come on, Matt. <laughs> Such an easy shot that I missed there. It's just not even funny. Uh, waiting for the guns to reload. Obviously he's just messing around, as I said. But if he tries to maintain, he was trying to make me stall because he thought I was really slow, but I just... 340 and it's fine. To be honest, this aircraft can go until like 180 with the full flaps, landing flaps, and it will just maintain the, the AOA that it's normally doing, which is really funny to use in certain situations. But also again, he's using that again. As you see, the, ones, the, the first circle is mine, but... He has so many, so much energy that I cannot catch him. And I'm missing a lot of shots also, leading too much, to be honest. Because it is one of the first dogfights that I'm doing with this aircraft, you know. Created him. And here, it just becomes a kind of a weird thing. Uh, the missile is shooting downwards. Because, you know. But, uh, yeah, here... He, see the speed there I mean look at the speed on this aircraft and I'm just not losing the the nose you know the nose is still there 160 150 170 and it's just fine it can hold itself so the the the, the saw speeds with full flaps are very very low and you can get a lot of weird kills with this uh, and it's just very very fun to actually fly this uh, it is an aircraft that probably not a lot of people will keep it to be honest I think uh, tomorrow we will see a lot of them getting uh, released you know but I'm going to keep it because I think it's just a, such a cool aircraft uh, to be honest I really would like to see the Sparrow C in this aircraft but the Americans never used it for some reason they used on the F3H but not in this so kind of a weird thing to do uh, but yeah eventually I got him because he was uh, going down so the MiG-19 has even though he has the, the, the ability to maintain me in kind of an energy trap, I have such a low uh, stall speed that it kind of doesn't matter, you know. I just maintain it together with him. And obviously he's trying to get me, you know. He's not uh, trying to evade or go away, you know. But the, the actual tactic that you have to use in the MiG-19 against this is just to run a away a little bit, get speed, you are way faster than this thing and you have more climb and better engines and yeah, here he's actually pushing the limits of the aircraft, you know, in a dogfight against me but yeah, it is just a very interesting aircraft, look at the speed again 145 and then I start to lose the nose because I turned too much to the left, I rolled it too much the aircraft so I lost the amount of lift that I, that I had 190 again and the nose is going up so it is very weird I mean I did a mistake here so he can get me with the energy trap as you see I just completely almost got me there and I tried to get him again and of course he's going to go upwards because he has the energy and I don't but because I still have the AOA, because I have some speed, I can get a couple of shots on him, but nothing too crazy, you know. And to be honest, yeah, it took a while. This was like five to ten minutes of this, just me following him and trying to, to get to that altitude and trying to maintain it. But yeah, he just 
he's using correctly. <laughs> I mean, I had to go to 90 kilometers per hour to actually stall the aircraft. And I decided to go downwards a little bit, get more speed, get the landing flaps again, and try to get back up there. But yeah, he already turned around the aircraft and eventually got me. Yeah, as you see. But it is a very interesting aircraft. You put people in a very weird position. And here is the last aircraft that we're going to see in this video, the SMT, which would be the top of the food chain, uh, uh, food chain sorry, on this type of uh, dogfights and stuff. And as you see, he just has so much energy that he won't even bother to actually try to dogfight me, uh, me at first. So it is basically the same happens with the MiG-19. So you have to consider that some aircraft will have the energy advantage on you. And your advantage on them is the ability to just maintain the nose on the target. This aircraft is good at that. You know, it's the main thing that this aircraft is actually good at. And it's the most important thing that you have to know. You know, it's an aircraft that doesn't have a lot of speed, doesn't have a lot of energy in general. It loses a lot of energy when turning. Uh, it breaks a lot. It cannot pull a lot of Gs, but... Uh, in the general idea, it just puts the nose there and it can get the nose where you want it. And this is, was just kind of a dumb head-on that I did. Uh, but, yeah, as you see, again, it goes for... Just go away, you know, a bit. And this dogfight took a while to, to end up finishing, you know. Uh, because with the energy that he has, he can just control the, the, the match, you know. So, it's an aircraft that will have problems in 1v1s against A5s, against MiG-19s, against MiG-21s. Aircraft like that are problematic, you know. Uh, they, aircraft that have more energy than you will be a very bad problem because you don't have the energy to keep up with them. You have to wait them to attack you and you will do a reverse and do something, some stuff like that, but still. And here, it was just a while, so I cut it a bit again it was like five minutes of us doing this and he ended up having no more flares as you see i locked him up to see if he had he had a couple more but he didn't have much many um much many just uh he didn't have any flares anymore so i had the missiles so eventually at 9,000 meters i eventually get him with the aim 9 but it's just a matter of performance, you know. And here is a proper dogfight against an SMT. I think it broke as his flap there. The R60 there, as you see, it's pretty dangerous. And just be being careful for not to not break the aircraft. As you see, the AOA is just amazing on this aircraft. As you see, I'm out of, out of ammo on the first cannon, as you see, and the other one is just kind of dead already. So I got him, and another one, as, you s as you're going to see, the MiG-21 can have a lot of influence on the first turn, and uh, most of the aircraft that you fight, to be honest, will have the fir first uh, turn to them, as you see here, I cannot do anything, it's just because of the limit of Gs of these aircraft, you know, you can turn more than 10 Gs, but it's just way too dangerous to actually do that, and you just become kind of a, a weird thing. Uh, that you break the wings and stuff like that. So the first one is always kind of a bad one. Once everybody actually loses speed, so it's an aircraft that is very, very good at doing that, flying very low speeds, you know. Uh, and yeah, this is the last kill that I got. If he is in my speed, if I make him turn so much that he loses all the speed, it's my kill. So yeah, pretty fun, very cool aircraft. And I see you guys on the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Bye guys.